A good Arab Shabbos, my Jewish Florida. Two minutes, Parshas Ve'era. Torah tells us, Ve'yikach Amram Yisroch Heved Odasso, that Amram married Yocheved, his aunt. Do you know why the Torah says that Moshe Rabbeinu had to come from a marriage, which in the future will be asked by the Torah? Lefi, she'emamidim parnas ala tzibor, ele imken, kupa shal shratzim, tzluyor lo b'tzavaro. Says the Cheskuni, according to Talmud in Yuma, that we do not appoint a leader unless they themselves wear or have an, their own box of insects on their own neck, have their own shortcomings, have their own struggles that they had to overcome. Pen, lest he sky ala tzibor. Because if they have no shortcomings, they have no box of in- insects, they've had no struggle, they could become haughty. A true leader has experienced themselves what it means to be down and out, what it means to struggle, what it means to have their own imperfections. And yet, in last week's Parsha, Parsha Shmos, even Ezra says, do you know why Moshe Rabbeinu had to have been raised in the house of Harum? Zakta Ibn Ezra expounds that Ibn Ezra was Moshe Rabbeinu in order to be a true leader, had to have an experience, had to have learned the lessons of Malchus, kingship. So on one hand, he needed to have this level of a box of insects, whether it is Yichos, like David Hamalach, like his Kuni points out, had his own questions of Yichos, his own struggles of his own youth. And on the other hand, he had to have the opportunity to be raised in the house of power to know what it means to be a leader. Remarkably, there is a Tiferes Yonis and Rabbi Yonis and Ibshitz who explains, do you know why Paro never enslaved Sheva Levi? Because Paro knew that the future leader of the Jewish people, the future redeemer of Kalal Yisrael, would come from Sheva Levi. And he reasons that if that leader would have never experienced being a slave, being ever in Mitzrayim, they would never lead the rebellion of the Avadim. So he did not enslave Levi to block his future leader. What he did not have is to be a leader like Moshe Rabbeinu, who had experienced his own struggles, his own questions of Yichus, who could go out and be Vayigdal and see his brothers in their civilization to experience their slavery as if it was his own. And therefore Moshe Rabbeinu would be the leader of Kla Yisrael using both his Kupa Shal uh, Shratzim, his own questions of his own yichas, his own anava, and the leadership that he learned, the malchus that he learned by being in a house of, of kings. All of us in our own lives are supposed to learn not only from the moments of greatness of success, but the moments of struggle, of being down and out. Both of them are teaching steps for us to be better people, greater leaders, and greater yidin. Good Shabbos to all.